welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be doing um something similar to another video that i've done before in the past and it's all about my my little crisis that i'm going through right now i am really excited though to be recording this video because i'm having a crisis and i thought it was important to share that just in case you're having a crisis as well but if you're new here please subscribe i post lifestyle content and i am just really excited to have you here and i would love you to subscribe because i have a new video every single monday so let's talk about this little crisis that i had uh yesterday or the day before i spend way too much time on my phone on social media and it is very toxic okay and especially in quarantine i feel like my consumption of social media has been astronomical if we're being real here i got my screen time for last week and it was like eight and a half hours every single day spending on my phone like what like that is unacceptable so what i did in the past is i set app limits for social medias that take up all my time tiktok instagram and youtube i would probably say it's in order of tiktok then youtube and then instagram but i only say tiktok first because once you get on tiktok you really do spend far too much time on tiktok so i am really determined to cut that out so what i did is usually i set the app limits on my phone you know uh, i'll show you a screen recording and you set the app limits on your phone and what you do is it will stop you even though i feel like it's definitely off um it will stop you from constantly staying on the app so it's called app limits in the settings feature and these are my app limits that i officially changed to so i realized before in the past i was saying that i wasn't going to be on the apps for a long time and i said app limits but i set like really high app limits like my tiktok for the day was two and a half hours like that's unacceptable that's far too long so i went ahead and turned that down to 30 minutes and that's like still a lot but i still feel like you know you want to get on tiktok you know if it's a couple of minutes a couple times a day that's cool but just to be spending like two and a half hours that's not okay and the thing is when i set those app limits it will give you an option to remind you in one minute remind you in 15 and ignore for the day do you know how many days i ignored for the day and i spent hours on there and you know what's crazy i forgot my app limit was two and a half hours and the other day it asked me you know if i wanted to i think this was saturday if I wanted to keep going, you know, ignore for the day, and I said yes. And then I realized yesterday when I had my epiphany that I was on there for two and a half hours straight, and you don't even realize it, and that's such a time suck. So, I set some new app limits. So I did that for TikTok, 30 minutes, or Instagram, one hour, and because i like to scroll through instagram and see like what the friends are doing and stuff like that and then youtube an hour and a half so you know i'm trying to cut down my consumption so that i can you know create more content not just for youtube um for like work and everything like that so i just feel like it's time to get it together um and i feel also that this youtube video is all over the place but i feel like that's how i'm feeling right now I also watched a video yesterday that was all about um, your anti-goal list. And I actually really appreciated it. It was from Michelle B. And I really love her content. She's like really inspiring, motivational, inspirational. And she really just gives me a boost that I need. And I really like her videos. So I usually like save her videos to a certain playlist about like how to get out of a rut or something like that. Um, I highly recommend checking out her channel. But this video was all about anti-goal lists. So a lot of times people focus on making goals lists and how they're going to achieve them. But what about making a list of things in five years of what you wouldn't want and then like making a new list counteracting, you know, how you're going to not have those anti-goals. So I did it in my notes on my phone and this is all the anti-goals and this is the goals list so i'm gonna go ahead and read them because i think they're important so you can get like um 
you know an idea of what i'm talking about so these are my anti goals so these are things that i really don't want to happen but if i keep going the way i'm going it's gonna happen essentially having no real relationships having debt having no savings account making no memories with my husband feeling like i have no purpose not using my skills in a meaningful way feeling like i have no friends having no clear direction in life waste my days on social media i know you can relate constantly watching everyone on youtube living their life and not living my own oh my gosh i am so guilty of that not being able to remember what i've accomplished in the weeks months and years i literally don't even remember what i did last week not giving my all to jehovah waking up every morning lazy waking up every morning with no purpose waking up every morning in pain out of breath waking up every day not flexible waking up every day not comfortable in my own body always being so conscious about my body and not feeling enough in my marriage so you know these are some real deep things okay and i'm sharing this with you because i'm a real person and you are too and i think it's really important to have this type of list and then make a new list so this is a lot of things on this list let me count them for you this is like 19 things if i'm not mistaken if i counted that correctly on this list and you know, a couple of them you know have like more meaning to them but i created a goals list a new goals list um with 10 things on them and i'm going to tell you how i'm going to counteract those anti-goals <sighs> so the first one cultivating meaningful relationships and friendships i really need to do this i have really struggled making friends and stuff ever since i got married because you want to spend a lot of time with your mate and that's just how i like to live life but i think it's really important to have friends this has really taught me that um like meaningful relationships not like so many friends but like you know a little good count a handful of people that you can like talk to text and stuff like that so definitely i'm gonna try to make that more of an effort because you know i'm still young and i turn 22 tomorrow but you know i want to have friends as i get older you know in my marriage so the second thing is pay off all debt and develop three to six months savings. Um, this is really important, especially with this pandemic hitting. You know, we really learned how important savings is and how rainy days happen all the time. Um, actually, at the beginning of the pandemic, I didn't start my car for a week and my car battery literally died and it needed a lot of work. So for a couple months, I just sat there because it was like, well, there's no point in driving it anyway. But stuff like that happens so you need to be prepared for that so i'm definitely going to make that more of an effort saying yes more to more memories with my husband sometimes i don't feel like doing things i don't feel like going anywhere i don't feel like eating a certain thing but i'm going to try saying yes more because those are memories that you know i will be able to remember or the pictures later on in life um especially when things clear up and we can travel more creating daily action plans and executing them so i want to create action plans in the evening for the next day because i am so tired of not really having like exact things that i want to do goals wise and and what i need to accomplish in my days so if i do that the night before even if i'm tired um or i can even start a list throughout the day and finish it at night for the next day but i find that really important to create a list of things to get done and these are things not like what i do on my list laundry cleaning the kitchen cleaning the floors these are like actual steps that will get you to the goals that you really want and i've noticed that i will make so many fillers on my list of things that don't even matter like they do matter but like i want to keep that separate from a list of things that actually will you know give me to the goal that i really want in life like my list right now has like do my nails do my toes bake banana bread muffins stuff like that and like that throws me off and i honestly procrastinate so much like i'm procrastinating so much even though i've done a lot this morning still because i'm i'm filling my time up with filler things and not things that will like make a real difference next thing is to set daily social media limits so i already did that and i'm gonna stick to them because until i have a healthier relationship with social media because i scroll on social media and i i compare myself i i look at other people and want what they have instead of being grateful for what i have and i just came to the realization that like i am too old for that and i am so tired of being sucked in this like social media 
mindset like oh yeah i need to check my feet in the morning like as if it really matters you know like people waste so much of their life on social media and it's actually sad because you don't even have good social skills you don't make any memories because you're so focused on looking at everybody else's um highlight reel so i would definitely take a step off of social media because all i'm doing honestly let me tell you every day with the huge amounts of social media time on my phone every single day all i'm doing is refreshing my social media accounts youtube instagram TikTok, to see if i have something else that sparks joy or that that gives me excitement but why am i watching these people live theirs or, or waiting to see what they're doing in their life and i'm literally not living my life to the fullest so you know you definitely have to make some changes because like if you keep going like this for five years you will literally have nothing that you accomplish and i'm basically talking to myself but if you need to hear this so making monthly spiritual goals and giving 100 percent effort of them i've noticed that during this quarantine i've been slacking but this month i have been doing a lot better when it comes to my spiritual goals and you know i find it really important to give your all especially right now and a lot of times people are looking for answers and honestly the only way to get the answers that you need is through god and it's so important to me in my life and it really has helped me and changed me for the better and you know i just want to constantly make that an effort not just say either i haven't made any you know enough effort in one month do it the next and then slack again i want to keep doing it monthly and making it a priority because that is definitely number one priority for me and my husband next thing is to document my accomplishments more and enjoy the moments i definitely started that at the beginning year until april in the beginning of april i wrote down everything that was significant this year and i really wanted to keep that up so that i can look back later and see like wow look what actually happened this year like because last year i felt like what really happened you know like 2018 was a big year for me so many things happened so 2019 was kind of like mm, you know i it didn't top that whatsoever so this year i'm trying to really write down everything that actually like happened that was important that was like exciting or you know something positive that like really made my day like big things you know so that later on i can say okay well this this that happened so i'm actually probably going to pick that up i still write things in my planner since from like april to now like big things that happen so i think i'm gonna like update the list and keep it going because i really actually enjoyed that like every time something super positive or you know really awesome happened i wrote it down and it did make me feel good so i'm gonna keep that up so the next thing is to wake up with my to-do list ready that's basically tying into what my other goal was i'm um, about making my daily action plans in the night before but i am trying to get it together like i know i'm still young but i still feel like i'm too old to not have it together you know and not have like a genuine plan what i want to do with my life so yeah i think that all changed i was like so productive so motivated before i got married and mind you i've been with my husband for like almost seven years um so you know i don't know something happened with me when i got married it kind of just switched and i became like the wife or wife mode rather than like focusing on myself as well i focused on how i can better my family and support my husband so it's really important now to focus on myself now that i've kind of got the white things down and grooved in because we're almost been married for almost two years um so now is the time to really upbuild myself and not just focus on everyone's cup but not my own next thing is to get up active every day and do some deep stretching every week i was so flexible in high school and middle school and everything growing up and i was a cheerleader and i really really enjoyed it and i want to keep that flexibility up i don't want to feel like achy and like crusty bones like i'm only about to be 22 so like literally tomorrow it's monday i'm filming this editing it uploading it today and then tomorrow i turn 22 but 
yeah i need to constantly like get active even if active is just a walk i want to make sure i'm doing something so like if i'm not walking if i'm not doing an actual workout a dance workout anything that's active i want to make sure i'm at least walking because it does make me feel better about myself it makes me feel better about my day it is like meditative because you can think you can clear your mind and you really just get a chance to think i know when i go on long walks i really start to like brainstorm and think of ways to better my life and i write them down in my notes and then i go over them later so the next thing is to stop comparing myself to others on social media and focus on my self-worth building up my conscience so that's my goals and that ties into setting the app limits and staying off social media as much as i can because it is so toxic you see everybody and you just feel very toxic so those are my goals and i'm really excited because i just feel like it's time to get it together and you know like yesterday i did a face mask it was sunday i read my book instead of sitting on social media so i was actually really proud of myself for that and i read a good amount of my book i'm actually reading a really good book that you've seen earlier because i'm like so obsessed with french women now <laughs> um and their habits and ways and it's french women don't get fat and i really actually enjoy this book a lot um it has really opened my mind up to just simple changes you can make in your daily life for like a healthier life um and i just started it i'm actually not that far into it but it was recommended to me from a youtuber and i forgot who it was but i'm reading it and it's pretty good i love learning like new concepts from other people maybe from different cultures and stuff like that so i can get a different mind mindset perspective i do notice that i've really been liking like the french woman ways and their like um daily habits and stuff like that to stay healthy and i just really like it so it's been cool to learn about that during this quarantine Another thing that I learned from a YouTuber, I forgot his name, but his uh, YouTube name is Better Ideas. And he just posted a video about consumption in quarantine and how it's been highly elevated because everybody is at home. And, you know, it's basically you're consuming way too much social media and that's seeming easy to do. So you're constantly doing it, scrolling through your feeds, basically, like I was saying, refreshing it, going through each social media to see if anything is new and it's not. And you're just wasting your time procrastinating. And he said that it's making doing things daily that will benefit you seem hard and you're not doing them but you're constantly on social media and i really enjoyed that video because he taught like a really good lesson and i did it and i created so many ideas from this but basically he said make a list of things you could do besides consuming media consuming anything that doesn't do anything for you but you're just constantly watching other people and i at first i did like three or four things and i was like okay this is gonna be hard and then all of a sudden my mind started to think and i created this super long list of things that i could be doing to better my life or that actually brings me joy and makes me productive and i'm focusing on myself building my brand building my confidence everything like that and now i have a list of things that i put on my fridge that i can do instead of constantly scrolling through social media so I find that very helpful. Um, I'm actually going to leave both the links to both the videos I was talking about from Michelle B and Better Ideas because those were really helpful and I think they'll be helpful for you as well. Also, I have been, you know, pretty motivated when it comes to working out and getting my diet and stuff in check. Definitely it's summer, so I've been having, you know, some ice cream and whatnot and some cookies. But I've been trying to stay as consistent as I can and just doing it more of a, a balanced perspective, but still trying to make sure I'm eating the things that need to benefit me and fuel me for my day rather than things that aren't going to fuel me. So I think next Monday I'm going to come out with a free worksheet that i'm really excited about and it's going to be um like some of the habits that i'm doing every single day that you can do and you can follow along you could track it you can tag me on instagram um autumn.burks and it's just going to be really fun so it's going to be free and it's going to just be like something you could either print or you can review it um on your device and mark it off you know through like whatever you can do on your device um but i think it'll be pretty cool and i'm gonna go ahead and say that now so that i can actually create it and make the deadline and i think it'll be really uh exciting for us to do this together but now i'm just like at the point where it's time to make some changes to 
be the best version of myself and I'm so tired of living my life through everybody else's meaning constantly watching so much media and not living my own life so if this resonates with you let me know leave this video a like and a comment if you feel the same way that social media is kind of becoming draining and it's like a life sucker essentially and that's what the apps are meant to do they want you to stay on their platforms as long as possible so don't get me wrong i love watching people on youtube but if i keep watching them on youtube I'm not even going to pay attention to my life like I have been and I'm just kind of going through the motions. Can't remember what happened last week, but I can remember what somebody posted on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Autumn and I really hope you enjoyed it. I don't know why I just said my name is Autumn, of course. I think you would realize that. <laughs> um, but please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. I really hope this video resonated with you. I was just keeping it real because... I need to get it together and you probably do too i know in quarantine we all been on social media a little bit too much so set some app limits and just kind of figure out what you want to do and do it you know thank you